Hi guys, today I thought I would do a video that went around on YouTube a really long time ago, totally behind the bandwagon or whatever you want to call it. I wanted to do the YouTubers made me buy it or YouTube made me buy it or social media made me buy it, whatever that is called. It's kind of like things that you saw, you heard about on YouTube or from a specific person or like on Instagram or Facebook and you just had to buy it. And that's what this stuff is. I have more than this too. I just couldn't remember it or I didn't like it or I don't have it anymore, things like that. If I didn't watch YouTube, I wouldn't probably have bought it. So the first thing is something that I actually love, and that is the St. Moritz Tanning Mousse. I used to use St. Tropez because that was the one that I just felt like that was the only one I really heard of other than like Jurgens and stuff. I would never have saved a ton of money and gotten this one that I like even more if it wasn't for YouTube. Most of the British YouTubers that I watch use this, so that's how I heard about it, and I'm so glad that I did. And the thing is, I don't remember ever hearing anyone rave about it, I just remember they mentioned it in blog posts, or they just like mentioned it in a video, or I saw it in a video, and I fell in love with it, and it's so much better than St. Chapay, so I thank YouTube for that purchase. <laughs> Next is something that I re really do like a lot, but I wouldn't say it's like amazing, and that is the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. Pretty much anything from this brand, I have some other things too, like the body spray I really like. Don't know I would have bought if I hadn't heard about it all over YouTube, and this was a years ago four or five years ago i think and you couldn't get soap and glory in the u.s for the longest time and they sold it at sephora for like it was really expensive i feel like and now they have it like target and walgreens and stuff but if it wasn't for like british youtubers once again i would not have probably bought this i mean i probably would have noticed it because it's a like, cute looking and stuff but i don't know that i actually would have bought it one that i swear everyone who's ever done this video has put this in their video um and that is the naked original naked palette of course i mean of course when i first started youtube i didn't really hear of many high-end makeup brands like i wasn't big on sephora i was all about the drugstore because i was like in high school and college as soon as i got on youtube everyone was using the naked palette everyone i think it was candy johnson who did a makeup tutorial with it and i was like i need that i got this probably a grossly long time ago and i think it's it's going pretty strong i mean those two hit pan but the rest are going pretty strong i don't think it's great i do think now there's so many palettes at the drugstore that compare but at the time i used it constantly like if you watch my old 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 videos this was like the only thing i used a newer one that i got two three years ago was the Lorac pro palette that was another thing from youtube i heard about because it's just the most basic and i think it's good for people who definitely don't need a lot of eyeshadow but it's good if you don't like doing crazy looks like if you're a very neutral person i do like the other versions of this but i've only bought this one just because it's the most like must have i think next this is a more recent one too i got this a few months ago i actually did a haul video when i got it and that's the tanya burr cosmetics perfect brows now i've had other products from her and i would put that in this like you know this line too saying it's youtube maybe bought it like pretty much anything from a youtuber's brand but this one specifically because the other ones i saw on instagram or kind of i like roamed around when they first released their collections whether it was zoella or whoever and i was like oh okay i want it but this one particularly i wasn't so like when i first heard about her collection I was drawn to this but I watched her do so many makeup tutorials with it and it looked so good that I just had to get it I've shown it to you guys before it has a dark dark brown which is the one I use I'm not wearing it today of course I should have a more warm brown a cool color and then a highlight it also has tweezers and a little brush and a mirror it's kind of bulky but I really do like it a lot this was a very particular <laughs> reason for buying it this is a makeup forever aqua lip lip liner in the shade 3c Carrie Murray who's a friend of Tess Christine she has a YouTube channel and she posts vlogs and stuff and she was wearing this lip color for so long and I always want to know what it was she finally said what it was and I just fell in love with it I thought it looked so good on her I don't think it looks as good on me I'm not wearing this today I should be wearing this stuff today I didn't even think about that but it's this very nice like it's like a peachy nude neutral nothing crazy it's a little bit more warm than what I'm wearing right now I really really like it a lot like I really do but I just don't think it lasts as long as something from makeup forever should I do like it and I keep wearing it and stuff but it's just not like my favorite thing everyone bought this it was the hourglass ambient lighting powder I got this for Christmas years ago I got my shade in the shade Radiant. I should have got Dim Light. I, when I asked for this for my birthday or Christmas or something, I remember looking at the website and being like, ooh, I really like the Radiant Light one because it's golden and I'm all about gold, but I was really, really hesitant and should have gotten the Dim one because the Dim one actually blurs imperfections and things. So this one's more of a highlighter. I am going to probably give this to a friend of mine because it's in perfect condition. I've only used it for a couple of months, but I'm way too pale to wear this as a highlighter now. I think that there are highlighters from the drugstore that are really comparable. Lush, pretty much anything from Lush 
is because I saw it on YouTube because I'd never even heard of it other than YouTube. But the one thing that I heard a lot of people talk about other than bath bombs and stuff, which I can't use because I can't take a bath in my house, was the lip scrubs. And this is the popcorn lip scrub. I've heard people talk about a lot of different ones, but I got the popcorn one. I've had this for way too long, like a grossly long amount of time, but it's fine. It still smells good and I use it. It's a really large amount. Like I don't know how anyone could possibly get through one of these. I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't for YouTube. And I do like it. It really works. But now knowing that I could probably make it myself, like not with the same scent and stuff, but kind of annoying because I would make it myself. The it Cosmetic CC Cream, of course. I got recommended to buy it buy this from um, Emily Noel who I talk about all the time she's one of my favorites when she liked it so much I just had to kind of try it and I'm really glad I did because I love it I think this is my second or third one they last really long I just talked about it in my holy grail products video but it's just so good and I would really recommend this for just about anyone unless you have super oily like acne skin that you want full full coverage but if you're good with like light medium coverage and you like the feeling of nothing on your face this is definitely a good thing to look into I along with that is also the bye bye under eye um Tess Christine always used that and so I got it and I really did like it but I feel like now that I'm not in college I don't know if I get more sleep or my under eye circles just aren't as bad but I don't need that much coverage now so it's great if you have really bad dark circles but if you don't need that that much coverage it's not necessary and then three more things one is the NYX liquid suede I'm pretty sure Zoella talked about this or she talked about some kind of a matte liquid lipstick from NYX and she like raved and raved about it like in three different videos over one period of time and they always looked so good on her and I was like you know what I'm gonna get it I don't have much from NYX I buy a few things here and there but there's just so much stuff and like you can't tell what's good and what's not but this is the shade sandstorm I just really really am happy with it I love it it lasts on the lips for a really long time doesn't feel dry doesn't feel too like disgusting and creepy and doesn't like wear out really bad I've raved about this a little lot on my channel and I really like it so I'm glad that I bought that I'm totally repurchase this two more recent purchases of mine that YouTube made me buy one is the essence pure nude highlighter I mean come on if you haven't heard people talk about this where have you been living I am wearing it today and you can totally see it on my cheeks like I love this because most highlighters I buy are either too intense and they like make your pores look bad and things like that or I can't see them at all and they wear out really quick and they're just pointless but this one is like the perfect medium like look at that it's just like so natural and subtle but not too subtle I really love it and it's only four bucks so I would totally repurchase that and then the last but not least is the Clarins lip oil instant light lip comfort oil again I think this was a recommendation from Zoella I think I've heard other people talk about this too she raved and raved about it and I was like that's so expensive this little tiny thing is so expensive and it is but I wanted to splurge on myself one day and I really really like it I don't know when I first got it I was super excited about it and I was like I'd totally get another one in that haul I did but I don't know that I would repurchase it again just because it's so expensive they made like a a little set of like four of these in all the different colors I'd probably buy that and it would be like 25 bucks I feel like that would be a cool thing to buy and I really do like it a lot but I don't think it's anything groundbreaking those are the things that YouTube made me buy I do hope that you really enjoy this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to see more from me and I will see you next time bye